Hello and welcome to my org GT. I wrote this package because myself overwhelmed with all the stuff I had to manage at work and at home. And I'd heard about GTD, saw someone using it with just a, a small notebook. And I wanted to do it in Emacs because, well, Emacs can do everything, right? So I'm gonna jump in quickly. So just so you know, here's kind of a list of the resources. Obviously, org GTD, which you can find there. You can open an issue, ask me questions there about it. Um, I use org Edna, a package for state triggers. I'm going to show this briefly when I finish item in a project. Um, org agenda property, you will see in the agenda. It's going to show to whom an, uh, an action has been delegated to, and you will see org roam briefly as a reference because that is what I have chosen for my knowledge archival tool. You can choose whatever you prefer. Obviously, um, this is a quick, quick reminder on what GTD is and how it works. Uh, this is not a lesson on presentation on GTD because that would be, wow. Other people have done it better than me. So in short, um, everything goes into the inbox and then you process the inbox and you decide what to do. If it's, it could be actionable or not. If it's actionable, it could be a project or it could be a single action, which you could you know, delegate or do soon or schedule or just do, just do it. If it's not actionable, you could just throw it away, incubate it for later or move it into your files. Reference. Over here, you can see the global bindings for or GTD. Those are the kind of the actions that the functions I have made available. This is in progress. There's more to come. Some stuff is probably missing, but it's grown mostly from my own personal use so far. So it doesn't have things I haven't been. And in the bottom right, you can see the agenda. One thing I wanted to do with this package was leverage org mode as much as possible. So I tried to not reinvent the wheel as much as I could. That meant reusing the agenda. You can see here a couple of the things that are made available or kind of custom, uh, customized or configured for you, some of the opinions that org GTD has. Um, up here, for instance, you can see a delegated action. So the delegated action is as someone to whom it's delegated. It's my parents in this case. It has the name of the action, ask parents what gift they want. It's marked as the tag, as the state of wait because I'm waiting. And it is scheduled because you should ping people or check on the status, status of a task when you're waiting for it. So you don't forget about it or it gets lost forever. I have a scheduled action to give a talk. That's what I'm doing right now. And I have an incubated action, which is also scheduled to make money through the lottery. This is a thing to take a look at for, you know, later, decide later what I want to do. With it. Right? it might be actionable, it might not be. I just, I don't know right now, or I didn't know when I processed it. So I incubated it. Underneath, we have all the things that are direct actions for me to take. All right, you see a, a little bit of the preparation seeped through the actual talk. So I have here two, I have a single action of uh, steal the Andre, uh, Andreas GTD configuration and uh, an action to read the GTD book as part of a project. So most of the day-to-day -day operation with, with this package should come through just having the agenda open and having having it be your your source for the information you need to know so that you can do the right thing. So let's take a look at what's underneath all of this really quickly. We have there's three primary files. Um, we have the inbox. I'm going to process it in a second because there's two things here. One thing to cancel, like an action to not take, it's nothing. And then something I will just put into org roam just so you can see that. Um, there is the incubate file. You can see here, make money through the lottery. 
captured, refiled here, and scheduled to so it would show up in the agenda, right, at a given time. And on the right, you have uh, the actionable file. And this is the one that has the most information because where most things should go. So I have the single actions, they all go underneath here. And so this is marked as next because it's an action for me to take. Uh, delegated is marked as wait. It is not an action for me to take. It's an action for somebody else to take. But it is scheduled because I may want to back in check in at some point, right? Uh, things that are scheduled, like give a talk, do not have a to do or next or wait state because they are not bound that way, they are time bound. So they will show up in the agenda when the time comes. I shouldn't act on them or I can't act on them beforehand. Uh, you can see here I have two projects, a test project, and I will do something with this in a second. And then there's this package, make a GTE package. There's a project here for me to create this package made a bunch of actions and I'm going to show you two things here one is uh, since I was trying to leverage org mode as much as possible I didn't try to create very clever operations because org mode has a lot of very powerful tools already so there's automations I could I can add but I thought it might be better to leave more things uh, into the hands of the user. So here, in this case, this test project, we can just archive, right? That's just control C, control X, control A, is the org archive action. Save this. Um, so now if I, if we go to the, you know, this will create an archive file, which will have this, upper, this information for later perusal, perusal if you're interested. That's, that's one thing. If we go back to the agenda for a second, um, you can see these, these things here. Uh, org, so by the way, uh, this, this parent here was the org agenda property. This is what shows here, right? And here, if I finish read the GTD book, I mark it as done, I refresh, you'll see that another item shows up. And that is where org Edna comes in. When an action is marked as done in a project, the, ne the next to do action is automatically marked as next. So your agenda is automatically updated. This was one of the nice things for me because I didn't want to have to open my file, go find the action, mark it as done, find the next one, mark it as next and so forth. So I didn't want to bother with it. Um, oh, actually, you know what? Let me show you something else. This. Uh, simple project. I don't need this timestamp to be here, but I like having a capture timestamp here. So I'm going to make one up. So this is the most convenient thing that I think is one of the most convenient things that I get out of this binding. And the next really convenient thing is the way this gets processed. So let me show you this. Um, when you process the, the entire inbox, what you see is the items one at a time so you can work with them. You can see at the bottom, you can work with them without being distracted. You can see at the bottom the, the list of things you can do, which are all the decisions you can take from GTD, right? In this case, this is one to throw out. So I'm going to press T. You have the option to make modifications to this if you want to, if you have any reasons for you to store it. And then you finish editing. You can add a tag if you want to, because this might still be interesting. And then enter and it's done. So important knowledge, I'm going to hit A for archive it. Okay. And then um, I'm going to start looking at org roam. So this is uh, you know, important knowledge. I have to capture this. Okay. So that's it. I've captured it. Uh, it is done. I uh, go back to buffer. And I can mark it a control C. Then there's no archiving because this is just knowledge. There's no tagging, it's just knowledge. But then the simple project, I wanna show you this because uh, there's some automation that's pretty helpful. So in the simple project, I have my first action, second action, third action. And you see, this is all I'm writing. I'm not adding any of the states, any of the tags they are gonna be added by uh, so 
Um, here I can add a I can add a tag if I want to this project. I don't care right now, but you know, I leave the tags to the user so they're not super relevant to me as a package provider. And this is where we are. This is the whole thing. So now if we go back to the agenda, we have a first action, right? And if I go to the actionable file, you can now see I have a simple project that has a first action as text, second action as to do, third action as to do. Uh, so what I've, you know, as you can see, I hope what I've tried to do is take all of the kind of all the tedium out of working with, with Emacs and org mode when working with your actions. So you could focus on what you want to do what you need to do, what you care about, and the package would take care of the rest. So um, the last thing I wanted to take a quick look at was some of the, the tests. There's the code is available here, uh, but you can see the code on you can see the code on GitHub if you want. Um, I've had some trouble writing good tests for this because org mode was written at a time before uh, testing was quite as important. Um, I think, or valued quite the same way, let's put it this way. Uh, and as a result, a number of things, actually it might also be a feature of Emacs at the time, I don't know, but a lot of things in org mode aren't very testable. And so what I ended up doing was just having an actual directory in which I actually um, put files. Right, so I, can, I don't have much mocking I can do. I can't just do a bunch of fake files, fake directories. So I actually go through the process, actually create files, and then actually have Emacs pointing at this directory to process and get the information. So I have to define the key to test that it gets bounded properly. I have to set the capture templates. Um, or the capture templates are how you know things get added. I have a, a wrapper control. Uh, or GTD capture essentially is a wrapper around the capture that makes sure the inbox is there and then uh, captures to the inbox, right? And making sure the items show in the agenda when I'm done with the with processing was a little bit tricky. I had a bug and I had to to fix it, so I just wrote this this test. But it's uh, it's pretty convenient now to have that because it gives me a bunch of sanity. So again, I have a capture, and this is, I wanted to be able to do this automatically, but org, GTD, but org capture itself is not super testable right now. So the way it's, the way you test it is just by programmatically calling it, which is not exactly what I wanted because I wanted something more like the user action, but I'll, you know, I'll see what I can get. Uh, and then I can, I'll just insert these words into the, the buffer and then I'll finalize the capture. Then I have another, I have a test package here called with simulated input, which um, basically calls this and then enters these, uh, these user actions, right? So like the, the letter S, control C, C, and then return. And that is, uh, you know, choosing a single action, then finishing the edit, and then adding zero, and then not adding tags. So you, as you can tell, there's a, a strong layer of disconnect between the tests and what they represent that's a work in progress um, so I have like four tests it's not a lot but I want to I intend to add more as I keep on adding more behavior and I would like this to be eventually a sane starting point for GT you know? there's there's a lot of people like like Andrea like Reiner like I mean if you search for org mode and GTD, you'll find a lot of blog entries, a lot of entries, a lot of articles that explain how to connect it together, how to think that way, how to use all the tools that org mode makes available. And hopefully this package is a, a way to get started without having to write too much of your own code. Um, and then eventually you can move away from the package if you want, if you realize that you are developing different opinions and you don't want to. If GTD doesn't work this way for you, if you have a different way that is a better fit for the way you want to organize your life, then you know move away from the package. 
Uh, in the meanwhile, I welcome all thoughts. I welcome contributions. I welcome questions, bug reports, everything. So, you know, come say hi, try the package, and uh, yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you online.